So during our series of interfaith explorations, it was not our intention to teach anyone anything about other faiths. No one should leave this series saying, I know all about Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam. That wasn't our intent. Our intent was to make it okay to ask questions. Our intent was to make it be okay to be curious. Being curious and asking questions create connections. And when we embrace our connections, our interfaith connections, our multicultural um, connections, when we embrace them and strengthen them, this world becomes a better place. So that is the number one takeaway from the series about other faiths. And the second takeaway is about sound. The second takeaway has to do with the way that we use our ears to hear. During this series of interfaith explorations, we spent a lot of time listening to, engaging with, and learning about chants. We listened to chants from Islam. We listened to chants from Buddhism. We listened to some chants from the Native American tradition. And we started out that section by talking about how in the Christian tradition, which we are part of, the Christian tradition, in the Western tradition, can I say that? <laughs> because there is an Eastern Christianity and a Western Christianity, and we, for the most part, fall into the ways of the West. In our tradition, we have been taught to listen for meaning. Listen for meaning. Other faith traditions don't do that. Most of the other faith traditions listen for the sounds, for the vibrations, for the harmonies, for the rhythms. They listen in a way which allows the listener to become one with the sound. Why? because they understand sound as a series of holy vibrations filled with the divine. Holy vibrations filled with the essence of goodness, of God, filled with power. Through this process of intentional listening, the holy and the human connect. So I wonder, I wonder if we would both speak differently and listen differently. If we thought of our words in that context, how might we speak and listen differently if we thought that our words, our sounds were filled with the divine? What do you think? What if we thought of every syllable as an opportunity for the holy and the human to connect? How would our worship be different? How would our speech be different? Would we listen different? Who or what might we become? <laughs>